Hello. Let's proceed to the final part of the plugins uh, course called the plugins module. So where we want to discuss about certain important uh, WordPress plugins. So uh, we'll go back to uh, the plugins uh, directory and from here we'll have to go to add new. And let's discuss some of the essential uh, WordPress uh, plugins. The first one which comes to mind is Accusnet. So uh, the usual WordPress uh, websites where you have a lot of blogs and articles, you can find that there is a lot of content spam which comes. And Accusnet is one of the plugins which, um, which actually has an intelligent mechanism through which they block uh, spam comments which come to your articles. So it's in, in that way it's very important and comes with the WordPress uh, default uh, installation. But one drawback here is it's is it's a paid plugin. You'll have to purchase it and then uh, use it. So if you have a lot of uh, spam comments, then Accusnet is the place to go. The next one would be the WordPress uh, Super Cache, which again uh, comes from uh, Automatic itself. So this, well, essentially, what it does is it speeds up your WordPress site. So it caches all the, the PHP content into uh, static HTML files and thus improves uh, uh, the speed of loading of your particular website. So when I just try to install uh, Super Cache, you can just see, I just explained the basic uh, uh, methodology on how to use it. So once you activate the plugin, you just have to uh, go to the plugins administrators page and then enable the caching to on. So once you enable the caching, then what happens is uh, the static HTML files are generated uh, for your website. You can test the cache here and uh, it will give you access to the, the HTML files, whatever was generated. So this is 1.html and the 2.html, essentially like your uh, actual WordPress uh, site, which is like coded in uh, HTML in a cache. So it is high speed for accessing. So one uh, thing you'll have to keep in mind when using uh, Super Cache is whenever you actually update a page uh, uh, content, you'll have to manually um, delete the existing cache. For example, if I just change this page to say, I just say I just take these two settings off and then I update it. So what you have to do after this, you will have to delete the cache manually. You will have to go uh, to the plugin section. Or this actually holds good even when you are updating new uh, plugins and all that. So you just have to go to uh, settings again. And then you have to delete the cache. So that like the old content is now deleted. But you have to delete, sorry, you have to do delete cache. And then once the delete is complete, then you, your new site will now load. So this is one very important and useful plugin uh, for speeding up your site. So uh, the next one what uh, we'll look at is uh, the Contact Form 7. So the Contact Form 7 is the most uh, widely used uh, Contact Form plugin. Uh, in WordPress. It has over a million uh, installs and uh, it's very simple and at the same time very efficient to use and all the time all the more it is like a free plugin which you can use. So uh, contact form 7 ha ha adds this contact uh, form thing uh, to your uh, dashboard and then you can just add a new uh, now they support multiple languages as well. So this is the default form uh, what they provide as part of the installation this is the basic, the most basic contact form. So now we just save it. You can configure all the like where you want the mail to be received and uh, what messages you want to, to display on success and all that. So once you have this, you just have to copy this uh, short code. We dealt with how to use uh, short codes in one of our uh, earlier uh, courses. So now I'll just add another page, uh, a page which says, say, contact, and then I'll just 
paste that short code here and publish. So once I publish, so this pay contact page here will now display the contact form whatever uh, I gave in the contact form. So it's pretty nice and it's very simple to use. So this is one more plugin which uh, which is essentially part of all uh, WordPress websites and there is a lot of customizations you can go through their uh, uh, documentation to understand how to customize the different fields and uh, using the different options. The next plugin which we are going to see is WordFence Security. So WordFence Security again it's like a, a protection measure for uh, your WordPress uh, website. So as I told uh, and, and we are also going to uh, cover in future about like uh, how uh, frequently these work WordPress websites are hacked and uh, fraudulent content is added. So WordFriends is one of the very uh, important plugins which actually makes your site uh, more secure by running uh, frequent uh, security scans, it ad identifies malicious files it, uh, it informs you if your website administrator panel is being uh, accessed from somewhere. You can give your, once installed, it will prompt you for giving your email address. So you can just give, uh, get alerted here. So what happens is, uh, uh, whenever some, um, some content, some, some, someone is accessing your website or something happens, so uh, it gets updated here. So, uh, that's about it for WordFence and once you have WordFence installed you can run, run, run uh, live scans here you can just go here you can uh, you can start a WordPress uh, scan so when you start a scan it scans your entire uh, WordPress folder uh, for uh, spam content and malicious files and if it finds something it will alert you then and there like uh, uh, it fa some uh, fi malicious files are there, or some plugins are out of date, and all these notifications it actually gives. So this scan usually takes five to ten minutes, depending on uh, your website size, and it analyzes neatly and it will give you like uh, all the issues whatever came up from the scan. So this is one more essential uh, plugin which you need to use. Uh, the next one uh, is your SEO plugin. So there is Yoast and there is also All-in-One SEO. You can choose to use uh, uh, whichever whichever sounds good to you. So I personally I use uh, All-in-One SEO more. So SEO is very important for you for for Google to act, Google or Bing to actually come to know about your website and then uh, uh, rank it higher in search results. So All-in-One SEO is one nice uh, plugin which integrates into uh, the WordPress website and uh, this uh, it will be active in all the pages. So once I install uh, All-in-One SEO, the first thing I can do is I can uh, configure the general settings here. So then uh, and if I want to uh, uh, install, first step I can go to Feature Manager and I can also enable sitemaps so sitemaps is something which is not uh, enabled by default uh, by uh, all in one seo i can go to the sitemap and i can generate the site um, uh, map here so if i give update sitemap it will generate a sitemap.xml file and it will also inform uh, uh, google and bing about uh, uh, based on the setup if you have this set so what happens is whenever your uh, site content changes, say you add few pages and modify few pages, then you can inform uh, Google and Bing right from here. Uh, and also one more feature about uh, All-in-One SEO is that you can add search engine uh, optimization title, description and keywords right here. For example, here you can give some uh, title saying, say contact, and you will, you will give a description here, and you can also give uh, Keywords here, yeah. contact, contact blog. So these kind of settings you can give here, and so this is what information it will, it will get added to your site's uh, meta word, meta keywords, and then uh, directly uh, affect your search engine uh, presence. 
So this is one more important uh, plugin which you can use. Uh, so the next one will be this uh, Google Analytics uh, dashboard for WordPress. So uh, now analytics has become a very important uh, thing to be tracked. So you'll always want to know uh, who is visiting your uh, pages and how much of time they spend and all that. And it becomes a bit cumbersome for you to go to the Google Analytics uh, dashboard and then check the data and come back here. So it's always good to have everything in one place. So uh, that's what this uh, Google Analytics dashboard also does. So first of all, you'll have to feed your uh, analytics uh, ID here, the Google Analytics uh, uh, ID, whatever you have, that UA hyphen some number. So that you have to input it at the back end. And once you input it, what happens is you can view all the page analytics here itself. So now since I've not installed, uh, I've not mentioned the Google Analytics ID here, it shows nothing. But once you show the, once you add the Google Analytics ID here, then it shows a neat report of your page visits and um, how, ma how much of time each of one of them spent on your site and all these things. So uh, this is again one one more uh, useful plugin, uh, I would say, uh, the Google Analytics dashboard. I think that pretty much covers uh, the most important uh, WordPress plugins at least. The, the WordPress updates, uh, the update draft plugin we will cover in uh, a later course when we handle the uh, uh, update section. So apart from that you can browse through these popular uh, plugins because more, all the popular plugins are like uh, most commonly used. So uh, whenever you start with your WordPress installation it's, it's good to have these nice plugins in place. Uh, before you actually start.